Hi, what's going on everyone? Today I'll be showing you how to break it into a secure Microsoft Access database. In this folder I have two lockdown databases. They're the same database, one I made a binary format and then one just a standard format. The main difference between the two in the ACCDE, the binary format, you can add, no longer add extra code or view the code inside the database. Whereas the standard database, you can still modify forms and add additional code. This is the other database I created to bypass the security. But let me open up the data, one of these secure databases first to show you how it looks. If I hit F11, I cannot open up the navigation pane where you usually will see like your tables and forms. I do have the tables also hidden inside of the database. And if I hit Alt F11, I cannot get to the code editor either because the special key is disabled. And also, if you hold a Shift key and hit Enter, when you open up the database, it doesn't put it in the exclusive state as well. So it's pretty secure. All right, so let me open up the other database that I create, created to bypass the security. I made a module called Lockdown. And I'm going to just go through the code real quick. I am going to post this code on Pastebin, so if you wanted to copy the code and test it out on your database, you can. All right, so I have a app object, and it's pretty much an application, uh, Microsoft Access application object, and that's what I'm going to use to actually control the database to break through the security. We have a function here to check and see if a table exists or not. I have a subroutine that create a hidden ribbon in the Microsoft Assets database if it doesn't already exist. The hide menu, this will actually hide the ribbon or show the ribbon, depending if you give it true or false for the parameter. Some properties receive uh, Boolean objects for true and false, and some properties receive, uh, receive string objects, and it, that's what these two subroutines are doing. And then we have hide tables. If it's set to true, it'll hide all tables in your database. If you set it to false, it'll hide all tables in the database. And then I have the lockdown settings. And this is where I'm actually applying the properties, like if I want to hide or show stuff in the database. So if it if you do want to lock down a database and it's true, well, lock down the show database window, the show status bar, the built-in toolbars, the full menus, shortcut menus, break into code, special keys, bypass key, autocorrect, allow, built-in toolbars, and then we apply the, the hidden rib ribbon. And if you uh, feed it false, then it undo everything. And that's how you're going to bypass the security. All right. So here, I'll for the lockdown app, this is where I'm actually opening up the um, database and applying the security settings. So I'm going to actually run this subroutine in this test part right here. So you can see that I'm going to open up the binary format of the database, which is this one right here. And then I'm going to set the property to the false. So it's going to un it's gonna unlock the database from there. And then I was testing out some stuff. I know what's already in the database, but pretty much I'm examining form one. But first test that I did, I looked through all the forms in the database and printed out the form names into the immediate window. And then I looked through all the controls on form one in the database and if the control was the text box, I print out the name of the text box. And if it was a combo box, I print out the name of the combo box. And then from there, for the uh, named combo box, I actually display the row source, like how the qu a query works inside the combo box down in the immediate window. And then for the form, I actually show the, the row source, I mean the record source in there to see how the query's working there as well. I meant to put in right there. 
And then at the end of that, I close the database and then I set the global application object to nothing. So let's go ahead and open, let's go ahead and test it. So I'm gonna hit the play button. All right, so you can see, I only have one form in that database and the, the form name was form one. It has several controls in there. We have a com combo names control and it's a combo box. We have a ID control, which is a text box, a name control, that's a text box. You can see the names uh, combo box row source was uh, select the name and ID from the names table. Well, it's, yeah, it's like the ID and name. And then for the record source for the form, since it's not like a query, it's just holding in the names table in there. It just has names there. All right, so let's go back to the security data. Well, the secure database, I'm going to open it up. You can see I have access to the navigation pane. If I hit F11, you can open and close it. If I hit Alt F11, you can see that this is still a password protected, but I'm still able to get information from the forms. Like so, if you store data inside like components, like combo boxes or subforms, then people can figure out like how you're doing your queries by just getting the record source or row source. Now I'm gonna do it reverse. I'm actually secure the database back. So I'm gonna go here and set this to true, and this is gonna secure the database. And it's still gonna run this uh, examine form one. So it's still gonna print that data out there, but I don't mind, cause I'm just testing around. All right. So I'm gonna hold shift and try to open up the database. And I cannot get to the navigation pane either, hit F11, so it's secured again. So this is a big issue with Microsoft Access. So like even if you hire tables um, and you lock down your database completely long, a user has access to your Microsoft a uh, Access application. They can run VBA commands to query table data from your database or see how your controls are working or open up forms that not that is not supposed to be open, doing like a uh, do command open forms call. All right, I guess I'll see you next time.